Are you interested in and or looking for a laptop with dual screen? You can check out the Lenovo Yoga 9 dual display laptop computer and I will be going over quite a few specifications. Now it's also known as a two-in-one. That's because it has two displays and it does fold, fold up too. So this is the Yoga 2 and 9. The model number is on screen 14IMH9. It comes with an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, the 155H. It includes Intel Arc graphics that are obviously integrated because it's a laptop. It supports up to 32 gigabytes of dual dynamic, you know, memory, the version 5. 7467. Now it says it's soldered. I never give out advice. I never guarantee anything and I never recommend anything. All you have to do is deduce what that means. Chances are you wouldn't be able to upgrade it. Okay. Up to one terabyte of storage. They support the M2 PCI Express, the NVMe solid state drives. up to a 14 inch 3840 by 2400 pixel organic light emitting diodes the, the brightness is 400 nits what else they claim it's i safe dolby high definition resolution what's that say there oh true black 500 oh 60 hertz that might be the refresh rate made out of glass and it's a touch screen yeah that that's pretty pretty old 60 Hertz is a refresh rate per second that's not very good but you know it is a, I believe both displays it has dual displays they, they both might have a low refresh rate okay so here is information pertaining to the ports it has a power button a universal serial bus type C up to 10 gigabits per second bandwidth with another universal serial bus that's 3.0 display port 1.4 so it looks like it may support like a a adapter cable that uh, the DP for display port 3 it does have a which is excellent it has a 3.5 millimeter duplex headphone microphone combination jack that means it's output and input input and output also a universal serial bus type a 10 gigabits per second port a thun two thunderbolt four ports now i'm not going to go over the models there's different models but i'm going to go over the specifications now it includes the intel h series core 7 ultra processor series 1 the 155H, 16 cores, six of them are, they have six productive cores and then eight. And then they have multiple cores here. They're different types. 22 threads, uh, the brightest frequency is 1.4 gigahertz and then so the the frequencies are different for each type of course and then maximum frequency that might be that's probably turbo boost which I, I don't know what the point of turbo boost is I never never figured that one out because it's temporary so what's the point you know anyways cache 24 megabytes Intel Arc graphics it does include Intel artificial intelligence boost the graphics is obviously integrated since it's a laptop. The memory is shared. That's a bit of a disappointment because it actually shares the onboard random access memory. It does not have its own memory dedicated to the graphics processing unit. That's a bit disappointing there. It supports DirectX 12.1. Now it does support up to four independent displays. You know what I could do is what I was going to do is yeah right there. And then people can see the images. All right. It supports four independent displays, the native display, and then three external monitors with a Universal Serial Bus C and Thunderbolt connection. 
Now the Universal Serial Bus C connector supports up to 4K at only 60 Hz, the screen refresh rate. That's pretty, pretty old school. That's, that's not very good. Same thing with the Thunderbolt, supports up to 4K at 60 Hz. The Intel system on chip platform, the memory, they sell them, I think, in 60, 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. And they're soldered, but I'm not going to go over that again. The memory is soldered to the actual motherboard. There are no slots, and they are dual channel, and the memory type is on screen, DDR5, 7467. Storage, this is redundant, but up to one terabyte, M2, 2242 type solid state drive there is a another storage slot one m2 2242 pci express 4x4 slot or that's the type of slot and then the storage capability but it is it m2 and it is pci express and i believe that still is nvme yeah right here storage type m2 2242 solid state drive pci express nvme pci express 4x4 up to one terabyte but I think they might sell them in 512 gigabytes and also one terabyte removable storage none that's a bit disappointing there is no micro smart digital slot none that's more, even this laptop right here that's not worth much at all it actually has a I think it does yeah, I think it does have a smart digital slot that I don't know what's up with that but it is what it is the audio is Realtek ALC 3306 codec it has four stereo speakers two watts by two and there are woofers on the side the front two watts by two front facing tweeters it has Dolby Atmos it has a amplifier it has dual microphone array so it has integrated microphones a 5 megapixel camera with a privacy shutter privacy shutter see they'll label you a conspiracy tard if you claim that people can snoop in and without you knowing with your your integrated camera in a laptop well all you have to do is study the OSI model and you would know that that is possible and this laptop has a physical privacy shutter a fixed focus camera what that means is that you can shut it shut the shutter and nobody can you know snoop in on you and spy on you or whatever that is the eight minute mark sensors accelerometer ambient light sensor hall sensor battery integrated polymer 75 watt hour battery supports rapid charge express now they say that for about a 15 minute charge you'll receive about three hours of runtime the maximum battery life with the 2.k Organic light meter diode models is about 12 and a half hours. Uh, local video playback 1080p, 19 and a half hours. The 4K organic light emitting diode models would be about 10 hours. If you play a 1080p video playback, uh, 16 hours. And then the power adapter is a 65 watt Universal Zero Bus Type C 3 pin active current adapter at the proverbial 100 to 240 volt 50 to 60 Hertz now they have different displays and up to 2880 by 1800 or 3840 by 2400 organic lighting mini diode 16 by 10 aspect ratio conscious ratio 100,001 and etc it, 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 now they both I think are touch screen so that, that's good multi-touch supports 10 point touch multi-mode so it has dual displays laptop tent stand and tablet mode supported it does support an input device I don't know if you receive one you might receive the Lenovo slim pen which is just a stylus keyboard six row multi punch keys it it does include a light emitting diodes backlight the touchpad is a buttonless glass surface multi-touch touchpad and then the dimensions of the weight around 2.91 pounds about the number three three pounds co it comes in cosmic blue or luna gray the case is made out of aluminum the top and the bottom is aluminum stamping the case material is both aluminum the top and the bottom connectivity supports 
Wow, there is no Ethernet. It does not have an Ethernet port. Wow. That's just okay, whatever. And the, I think this not expensive laptop that I'm pointing down at has an Ethernet port. Now this comes with with wireless support 60, also Bluetooth, but the wireless is 802.11ax. The Bluetooth is version 5.3. It comes with these ports. I already went over them. You know what I'm saying? It has one Universal Serial Bus A and also Universal Serial Bus 3.2 Generation 2. And then it has two Universal Serial Bus Type C that would support Thunderbolt 4. And the the dual the duplex headphone microphone combo jack. It does support biometrics. It does have a biometric fingerprint reader. Uh, it does have biosecurity, basic input output system security. And anything else. It comes with a one year courier carrying service. And that is this video pertaining to this Lenovo Yoga 9 Dual Display Laptop Computer. Adios!